Hello everybody and happy holidays from Lego My Jameso. What better way to celebrate the holidays other than building a Lego holiday train? In last week's video I showed you the Lego holiday train that was from 2016. This Lego train here is actually from a decade prior in 2006. And I guess we'll have to wait to see if there is another holiday train in 2026. Who knows, maybe we'll see one sooner than that. Overall this is an awesome build. I have found the parts to this train for the past few years now, and this season was finally the time for me to get this out and build it. I love the train, I like the size of it. In this video, I'm going to show you the seven minifigures it came with. I'll show you a 360 on each train car here. And then at the end, I will compare it with the train from last week's video, so the 2016 release. Overall, this one's pretty sweet, and let's get right into it right now. The first car you'll build with this train set is the locomotive. I love this locomotive. It is small, it's green, black, and red. Very nice colors. There's a nice cab there for the conductor. And it just has the nice features you'd see on a locomotive. So the bar is on the side, the smokestack, the bell, and the nice windows. Then we have our coal tender. The coal tender is really nice. There's two variations for this. One with the motor that I currently am showing here, and one without. Overall, they're very similar. There's just a few other parts if you took the motor out. And it has logs, which I think are cool and accurate. Then we have the passenger wagon. This is an awesome build. I think they did really well with this one. I like the white windows, the red plate, and the black roof with the greenery on the sides. Very nice, and it has four seats on the inside, four figures, and two white doors at both ends. Then we have our present car. Presents are very nice. This is what makes the set really unique, is there's a lot of unique items right here in this car. As you can see here, this is everything that came in the present car. There are multiple gifts wrapped. We have a trike, a skateboard, two apples, a cat, two pairs of flowers, three books, and this bunny. The bunny is the really unique one. He only came in nine sets from 1999 to 2008. Most of them were fairy tale sets, and he runs for about $3, so I had to pick one up. Next, we have our cargo cart or the tree carrier. This is an awesome build. I think it's unique and pretty sweet. I love the red bars and I love the simplistic features. I put both the rats on this one. This rat is also a unique piece. He came in four sets, one Harry Potter, two castle sets, and this. And finally, we have the caboose. I love the caboose train car. We don't often see many of these, but the colors here are just amazing. You know, your green, white, red, and black look wonderful. There's actually not an interior here, but I love the exterior design on this as well as the windows up top. I've always liked the caboose train cars. I remember climbing up into the top of one when I was a kid, so maybe that's why. Overall though, great build really adds to the winter train. Now let's take a look at the minifigures in this set. So up first we have our train engineer. He's a cool figure, but not super unique because he came in other sets. Then we have our train conductor. He has the cool dark blue torso, plain legs, a uh, nice face with a beard and glasses, and the dark red hat. Then we have, this is our passenger train engineer, same torso and hat, just a different head. And now we're getting into the passengers. This is the only other figure that has a torso that is a little pricier because it came in the green grocer and not as many sets. But most of these figures, like the ones I'll be showing here, are figures that could be recreated with parts from other sets or they did come in other sets. This is the only figure in this set that is unique. She's worth around $15 to $17 on Bricklink, and it's because her hair and torso are unique items that only came in a few sets, typically more expensive sets. And then we have this figure, another passenger with this red jacket on that has the space logo. And lastly, as promised, here are both of the holiday trains side by side, and let's kind of take a look and see what I think is better. Overall, they're both nice trains. I do think the 2006 version from this video is a better train. I think it is long. It's obviously longer and larger, which I like. Maybe it's because I have a large ego. <laughs> but overall, I think it just has a better build. It has a beautiful passenger wagon. It has the nice, you know, flatbed for the presents, and it has the tree car and the caboose. The caboose for the newer one, I don't care for as much, but I love the caboose on the older one. Looking at the locomotives, you can see they're about the same size. They're both really nice. I can say that the newer one is nicer. It looks more appealing from the front. It has the beautiful smokestack. Looking at the coal tender, you know, they both have the greenery or plants on the side of them. I think the white complements the green much more than the green plants on the older locomotive. Overall, though, uh, I, I would probably still go with the new one just because of looks. I mean, the front, they both look nice, but the newer one to me just pops more the gold even works really well. Looking at the caboose, 
100%. The one here on the left, the older one, is my favorite. I think it's better. It has a taller top piece with larger windows. It has actual doors where the figures can stand in, and it's not as compressed or as small. And there you have it. So now, enjoy this train running around a couple more times. And then don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you for checking this out. I hope this was helpful. And hope you enjoyed the content. Eee! Lego, my James-o.